Let's just take a look at the viewport and its various options. I'll close the palettes on the right here to make things a bit more plain. Starting clockwise, there is a listing of the characters currently in the scene. It's only the Simon character loaded at the moment, so that's all that will show up. But beside that, you can list all the body parts for that character, any props you might have in the scene, any cameras, and any lights. Everything is accessible from within the viewport itself. There are various render options here, and camera manipulation tools. Rotation here of the main camera. Moving camera X and Z, and moving the camera X and Y. Some more render options appear on the flyout here. At the bottom there are color pickers for the foreground color, the background color, shadow color, and ground color. Also, the ground shadows can be turned on and off with this little button here. Depth queuing can be activated here as well. And the various tracking options can be set up here from the viewport. Box tracking, which enables fast manipulation of body parts on possibly a, a low-end machine. There is fast tracking, which turns the box tracking when you begin to manipulate a, an element. And then there is full tracking. And also here are the various viewport options. I'll just very briefly set up three ports, big bottom. There you are, the viewports can be easily changed. And on the render tab, there is a render I've made previously. And you can also wipe between renders you have made recently as well. You can compare renders if you need to. And also the render then can be torn off and saved as a separate image.